what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is gonna be my spoiler free review for halloween kills just got done watching halloween kills it is directed by david gordon green who also co-wrote the script along with danny mcbride and scott teams it stars jamie lee curtis anthony michael hall kyle richards andy matichak judy greer uh james u courtney back as the shape and you know the movie is picking up immediately where the 2018 film left off we are following jamie lee curtis's character Lori strode once again she's on her way to the hospital with her injuries and you know they think they've beaten michael myers but this movie is essentially going to be continuing that and now they have help from the whole town of haddonfield with a lot of other returning characters such as tommy doyle lindsey wallace marion chambers lonnie elam and some other people now this movie i saw the saw the score i made countless videos about what we were seeing and i i kind of was hinting towards you know maybe some of the stuff of what they're saying here is stuff that i will agree with and it is there is a lot of stuff in this movie that is just not it, it i would say i would call it unnecessary honestly i liked halloween kills i would put it right up there with one of the better entries in this franchise i will defend this movie for anyone that wants to say it's a complete misfire um i do not this this is not a poorly crafted film overall on all ends that's not what the issue is here and it's also not an, not an issue of there being way too many kills the kills are are very brutal i enjoyed all of them the way they are shot and captured they are just menacing you'll be wincing in your chair when these kills are happening because that's how brutal they are they are bringing into or leaning towards like rob zombies halloween 2 territory but without the overly aggressiveness of it all still it's not feeling like gore for the sake of being gore that's that's just my opinion on, on the gore the kills are in great supply they're all well captured and executed and you will just have a good time with that because i i did <laughs> james g courtney he's knocking out of the park once again here is the shape he's very menacing terrifying the moments of suspense with him and these certain characters that we're we're seeing with these chase sequences that happen one in particular with him and lindsey wallace i know had me kind of just wishing that it the way it's just the way that it's shot it's like a sequence where it's shown in the trailer she's running from him well she's running in the in the park and from what we see she's running in the park from him she goes to hide and you know that whole sequence you're just on the edge of your seat or at least i was i thought david Warner green he's doing a terrific job directing this he captures the suspense when it's necessary he keeps the tension high when it is present but then you have these moments where all that stuff is thrown to the side for cringy dialogue plot exposition i would say exposition dumping rather that's not necessary the constant use of the tagline i think the tagline is movie evil dies tonight completely cringe unnecessary and now that i've seen the movie i see what they're talking about when it relates to the dialogue why are these people talking to each other like that people do not talk to each other like this and you know sure maybe there's somebody out there who looks looks directly up um almost directly up at a camera to make a dramatic pause to, to deliver a line that they're trying to deliver to someone else who's in the room with them <laughs> but you know the performances i would say on all accounts were adequate enough jamie lee curtis while we know Lori strode again i wouldn't even say that's a con we knew she was going to be downplayed in this this was more about the mob mentality from haddonfield and the other survivors catching up and learning about their collective trauma and how they've been dealt with this over the last 40 years which i will also add we don't we don't learn much other than that these people like to get together and they they go out drinking every year marion tommy and Lindsay, and i guess lonnie they all go out drinking on halloween every year to commemorate their collective trauma and it's like okay what else are you guys doing in your life what, what's going on you don't get any of that like i said before i talked about this in my video that was my fear that they are not going to they're going to rely on nostalgia for us to give a crap about what happens to any of these characters and i don't you don't get you're not given a reason to care about any of these characters anthony michael hall as solid as a performance as he's giving i am not caring about what happens to tommy doyle i do not care what happens to lindsey wallace i do not care what happens to lonnie i am more invested in the women that we had in the 2018 film the 2018 film is a lot more cohesive that way it's a lot more uh impactful by the end of it now there are some moments of dialogue where they're used to basically be like 
hype, I would say hype man dialogue for Michael Myers and what he represents and everything he stands for and embodies. You know, all of that stuff, it hits you and it's very meaningful and it's touching and it's very thought provoking and I'm captivated when I hear the dialogue. But you have these other moments with characters like Big John and Little John running around the Myers house that they live in because they live in the Myers house and they're calling out each other's names. Hey, Big John, Little John, Big John. Hey, Lil John. It's like, what are you doing? Like, why are we having a compilation of this going on for so long? And the 1978 stuff, absolutely breathtaking. Breathtaking. The way they created that whole atmosphere, I was sucked into the. I really believe I was there. I believe we were back in 1978. The set designs, the beautiful recreation of the Myers house, that is some of the best iterations of the Myers house we've gotten since the original film. The the mask that they use. Now, I know we can sit down here and put them side by side and say, okay, yeah, this is what's wrong. It's not looking like this compared to the original. But when you're talking about what came the closest, it's this mask right here. It is just completely amazing to witness. But the problem also with the flashbacks of 1970 is they're constantly going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. When you're already not giving me a cohesive narrative with the town of Haddonfield and we don't know too much about these characters we're supposed to just care about off of nostalgia, the cringy dialogue. <laughs> I love this movie. I loved it. But, you know, I can't. I, I said this plenty of times on this channel. I cannot sit down here, tell you I love a movie, and then just discard all of the things that are wrong with it. This movie had a lot of potential to be... It's not suffering from having a lot of kills. That's not what's making it suffer. It's suffering from not balancing that with a narrative that really sucks you in and makes you want to... Uh, I guess revisit this numerous times because when I sit down and watch this movie this movie is very fun I wouldn't have a problem watching it but you know the material outside of the kills it's subpar at best it, it really is the way it's directed all of that it's it's beautiful the cinematography is amazing John Carpenter's score oh my god bone chilling terrifying it uh, lends itself to creating the atmosphere that this movie wants to I'm gonna have to give this an honest six out of ten let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description I have links to my social media accounts on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews I'm gonna cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video